Okay, I try to do this by leaving these open. Uh, that's the way most of them are made. But on a ham website, I found out that it might work better if you have a continuous loop. So that's what I did. I ended up soldering wire to them. Every one of them. To make sure that it has a closed loop. So I think what I would do is make these in a triangle and then solder them to the leads. Okay. Um, so I'll have to do some math here, do some measuring, figure out what to write down uh, for dimensions. But uh, I'll get those dimensions in the, in the uh, description area. It does work better this way. So I think that's the key to a good antenna. I took the EMT tubing here and uh, sliced it with a hacksaw and that way I can get this uh, pipe in there, this half inch schedule 40. It fits right on in there. Okay. And I just tapped it in with a hammer. It fits really nice. You see it doesn't spread it out very much. And then I'm just going to put a clamp on it just to keep it nice and tight there. And that's going to be my support for the antenna. Okay. We'll get to that in a little bit, but I wanted to do this before I covered it up. Make sure you saw what I had to do there to get that tubing in. Then I'll put a clamp across it to, uh, to keep it nice and tight. You don't want it messing around in the wind and loosening up. But we're going to put a T in here and come out for our vertical support. I got to get the back on here yet. So the uh, reflector going to use that um, uh, rabbit cage material I always called it but I think they they call it something else uh, I'll have to uh, see what that is but that's half inch by half inch it's pretty good stuff and that'll work good for this Okay, and a little picture of the clamp in position. Nothing to it. You could probably use a couple of hose clamps even. But, of course, it's a little heavy duty. That should hold it. Measure out 36 inches. We're going to do this two times. Give me a place to cut it from. And I'm just going to cut with a pair of diagonal cutters. Goes right down through nice and easy. A whole number of ways you can cut it, but that works fine. Okay, here's what we're going to do we got to stitch this to the other one, so I'm going to take piece out of here on every one I know it sounds like a pain you could sew it together with another piece of wire and wrap it around all the way up through but this doesn't cost anything it's here it's easy just take it and then what we'll do we're gonna line these up pretty close and then just fold it over okay like that and we're gonna do that to each and every one grab it fold it over 
and we're going to stitch it together. All right, easy enough. We need one solid piece. So uh, that's what we're going to do with this. So that's how we're going to stitch the two pieces together for the back reflector. Okay. So I'll be back when I get that done. Okay, I got it stitched together. See how it is. So now I got a four foot wide piece, 36 inches high. That's what I'm going to put on the back of that antenna for a reflector. Okay, I'll show you the next step when I get there. Okay, about six inches in. Hold that. We're going to bend it about a 45. Not to be scientifically done. Just bend it inward a little bit. We're going to do that on the other side, and then we're going to do the top and bottom. But I don't know what that measurement is yet. Okay, hang in there. Okay, this one we're going to do about five inches in from the side. Top bottom. Okay. Five inches here, five inches there. We're just going to fold it up. Get a little kink in here and hold it in place. And just have it sort of reflect inward. And that'll help the signal um, get concentrated to the back of the antenna. pretty much it. We're going to do the other corner and then we're about ready to mount it on the back of the antenna. Great when I'm done. All right, I got the caps on, and I'm ready to go ahead and screw the back on. I'm going to use some self-tapping screws and some fender washers. Okay, it's done. I got everything screwed, glued, um, wired in. Make sure that you tape up your connections good. And when we flip this over, I'm going to go ahead and waterproof 
the connections down there which I haven't done yet it's the only thing and then I'm gonna paint it and help seal it off a little bit more but make sure you tape everything and seal everything um, where you got it soldered or connected all right um, one more thing when you look at this you're gonna see uh, a left and a right a left and a right the two lefts are connected together the two rights are connected together right here with this okay so this outside one and that inside one and this inside one and that outside one okay remember to do that if you don't connect them correctly you will have a loss of signal all right here's a finished product Hopefully you can see it good enough. I don't know, but it's painted. See how I got a place for the mounting pole right there. Yeah, you can probably see my trash pile in the background. That should do it. All right, that's the end of it. Okay, I'm uh, not happy with the results of 20 channels out in the wilderness. I think I can get more, so I'm gonna try opening up these elements like I used to do. So I'm just gonna clip off the end. I'm not really taking anything to speak of off of the length so they're still about seven and a half inches but I'm just taking that that piece off all right